plants under anesthesia. Attention, diethyl ether is extremely flammable, can cause drowsiness and is toxic if swallowed. I don't take any responsibility for damage done to persons or property caused by the replication of this experiment. Diethyl ether was used as one of the first anesthetics in the middle of the 18th century. A rag was soaked with it and placed on the face of the patient. By inhaling, the ether was absorbed in the lungs and the person became unconscious. An interesting question is if anesthetics can have an influence on plants, like this Venus flytrap, or this Mimosa pudica. Both are plants that move pretty quickly, which should make the effect easy to observe. The setup is somewhat simple. As a container, a large desiccator was used. In the stopper, some cotton wool was placed that can be soaked with ether. 0.7 milliliters of diethyl ether were added per liter of volume. This leads to a concentration of about 15% ether in the air, which shouldn't be harmful to the plant. Then the container was closed and left to sit for one hour. The goal is to make the ether spread well in the chamber. The stopper should be sitting loosely because of a small buildup of pressure. Next, the plant was removed with crucible thongs so the amount of escaping vapors, which are heavier than air, was as low as possible. When the trigger hairs in the first leaf were touched, no reaction took place, which usually happens after touching them two times. It became even more interesting when testing the other leaves. On the next leaf, only one of the trigger hairs did react, causing only a part of the leaf to move. Here it can be observed the best. This leaf did almost react as usual. It was obvious that the ether didn't spread out evenly, which was actually more interesting in my opinion. After 15 minutes the effect should be gone completely and the first leaf did already react a bit more after a few minutes. After three days, all of the leaves had opened again. Then the experiment was repeated with the Mimosa pudica. The same amount of ether was used, but the effect was almost not visible. It was then tried to let the ether evaporate in the chamber at first and then add the plant afterwards, but the result was identical. That's why the first method was used again and the concentration of ether was increased to 20% by taking around 0.9 milliliters of diethyl ether per liter of volume. After one hour the effect was obvious this time. Interestingly, only parts of the plant were affected again. Some parts of the stems did still react. The effect should be gone after about 7 hours. After 4 hours, the effect began to decrease significantly in some parts of the plant. The action potentials and response to the stimulations are attenuated by the ether, so the conduction of electric signals in the plant is not possible and no reaction takes place. This experiment also works with chloroform, xenon or compounds like lidocaine, which have to be added into the water. These other anesthetics tend to harm the plants more, which is why these were not tested. This were plants under anesthesia. I hope you enjoyed, please rate and comment. If you want to see another experiment with active substances, you can watch my video about the alkaloids and the Dragendorf reagent here, or you can watch my latest video here. A big thanks to my supporters on Patreon.